Hey, so I am on my way to my second, second ever book signing. Michael Ward and I are signing copies of the A Journey of Words anthology at McKay's in Knoxville, which is a used bookstore. It's my favorite bookstore, so I'm really excited to be doing this there. I just uh, stopped at the bank right now to get change um, because I did not prepare yesterday. I was actually intending to go run this morning, but I woke up and it was about 40 degrees and I do not do cold. <laughs> so I decided I would go run um, after the signing. I have not had caffeine, which is amazing considering I'm going about 1200 miles per hour. Yeah, I'm really excited about this. And I hope a lot of people come out, but McKay's is usually pretty busy. Um, so I'm not worried about nobody showing up, <laughs> which, hey, once you've had a book signing and the only people there are the authors, we're ready to go here. I did my nails, intending to have nice, pretty nails for the book signing. And this is the third time they flaked off in two days. Okay, got my change. I am ready to go. So the book signing starts at 12 and the pitch to publication submission window also opens at 12. So this is going to be a really exciting day. I am ready to get going. Just rolled into McKay's and the place is pretty crowded, which is a good sign. There are a bunch of people outside at the free book bin. You can see the parking lot is pretty crowded. So Michael, are you excited? I'm so excited. This is awesome. Are you the author? Yeah, we're both Wow, awesome. man. Yeah. I've never met an author before. Yeah. Cool. How you doing? Pretty good. Okay, so 20 minutes in and we have not sold any books, but we have spoken to people who are not authors in the anthology. <laughs> so that's a plus. Yeah. Yeah, we're just starting out, so hopefully we'll, it'll pick up here shortly. People are a little frightened of us. Just a little bit. We're not it sure why. It could be the shirt. I don't know. <laughs> Next time we're going to bring mini muffins and coffee, That's maybe that. a puppy, maybe. entice That's people. A good idea. For your listening and viewing pleasure, we have the wonderful M.R. Ward reading from his story, The Open Road. I'll stand up. We'll get the full effect. Okay. Well, All you right. might not be able to hear me. <laughs> no, you got it. You got it. Okay. Project. Luke's body lay straddled across the double yellow line. His head was turned toward the car, his eyes staring blankly into space. The creature had his face buried in Luke's abdomen, devouring his insides. Like a hungry dog that had just been served a juicy New York strip steak. When the Lenore screamed, the beast looked up. A piece of slimy intestine dangled from its gory mouth. The creature made an inhuman, an inhuman sound as it rose to stand. 
And there you have it, folks. If that does not entice you to buy this wonderful anthology, I don't know what will. Okay, it is 1.30. We are at the halfway point. So far, we have sold five copies, which is much better than last time. So, what are your thoughts? How is it going? It's going well so far, yeah. It's been fun, interesting. Yeah. Lots of different people. Hey, someone took a business card. There is a deer staring at us. We just noticed. If you have read M.R. Ward's story, you know why this is unsettling. I'm scared. Excuse me, they take credit yeah. cards here, don't they? I believe so. Alright. <laughs> just check my shoes. I have not work here. It's a bit slow. So I thought we should take a moment to address some of your frequently asked questions. No, we don't know where the travel section is. <laughs> no, we do not accept McKay's store credit. <laughs> they do take credit cards here though, and so do we. Yes. Someone just walked up and offered me a free sample of flatbread pizza. I don't know who she was or why she had pizza, but I'm not going to say no to that. So things are winding down. It's almost 3 o'clock and we are getting ready to pack up. So, Mr. M.R. Ward, how do you think it went? It went well. I enjoyed it. It's been a lot of fun. Would you do another book signing here? Totally. It's been, it's been pretty good here. We've had some people stop and talk to us. And a few purchases. We've sold like five books so far, so that's pretty good. Yeah. Do you have any final words for our gentle viewers? Mm, buy the book. <laughs> if you haven't already. And this is our resident salesman. That's right. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> I just packed up and walked down to McKay's. The book signing is officially over, but it was so much fun. That was an awesome time. I got to talk to um, a lot of people and hang out with Michael Ward, which is always fun. Um, we got a lot of sidelong glances, like I really want to know what's on that table, but I don't want to talk to you, so I'm going to keep moving this way. <laughs> and I'm like, um, come talk to us. I want to put a sign up and just say it's okay if you don't buy the book. We just want to talk to you and hear about reading and books and we're, we're authors. We love this stuff. We're lonely. We spend too much time <laughs> sitting alone in the basement with our typewriter. We need to be social and talk to people and this is as close as we get. Like I said, next time we will bring something to bribe people with. Because I don't know about you, but that's how I make my friends. Bribery. Okay, well, this has been great. Um, I am about to head home and check out those Pitch to Publication submissions. So stoked about that. I will keep you updated. Um, if you have enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe below. As this channel progresses, I'll start setting probably a day of the week for new videos, but um, for now, just know that they will be coming out semi-regularly. So if you're a writer or an author and have done a book signing, I would love to hear how it went for you, especially your first one when you're not very well known. Um, yeah, so I'd love to hear your experience. And do you have any ideas for book signings? How to draw people in? Uh, bribery? I don't know. So yeah, comment below, subscribe, and I will see you next time.